people have looked at my pieces and they're like, that's cool. And then they have this face where they go, is that? And then they like run across the room and go look at it. And they're like, wait, this is all made out of words. It's all words. Oh my God, I can read this. I can see this. So there's kind of like this extra layer of people's appreciation, I guess. It's like a secret bonus. I don't know. <laughs> My name is Kiralee and I'm an artist. I use lyrics or quotes or writings to create portraits in a pornalism format. Instead of using dots, um, I use the letters. I guess I would just call my like a portrait artist. Uh, I don't really know. I'm an artist. I don't know. I'm an artist, the end. <laughs> I was an only child. Uh, my mom was not a fan of me watching television. So I was the, the kid that wasn't really allowed to watch TV, but was constantly given like coloring books and art supplies. Um, and because I had no siblings, I just colored all day. So I just always loved art. I went to art school um, and when I was in art history, I didn't have like a professor that was very entertaining. So we would have to take notes and at the end of the class turn your notes in and I started to like doodle my notes and create like different like patterns, so that makes any sense. Um, and it just kind of evolved from that and then I would turn in like flowers and turn in like animals and they were all notes and my professor probably thought I was a lunatic, but <laughs> um, it kind of just sprung from that. I actually usually work in very large scale pieces, my biggest being six by eight feet. But when I work, I will sketch out a subject. Sometimes I will start by spray painting the actual um, canvas and then see like what I feel like fits onto that. It just kind of depends on my mood. So depending on which stage I start at, I will finish the spray, resin it, go back to my sketch, blow it up to whatever size I need, transfer it over, and then it usually takes anywhere from a day to a week to do the actual pointillism, and I freehand all of it. So the only sketching I do is just the outline of the subject, and then everything else I just freehand. And then I resin it again, and then that's it. And then you get one of these. Oh, and, I, and then somewhere in there is my signature, hidden. Uh, the way I choose my words is if I'm doing like a large scale piece, like an album, if it's a certain album I'm doing, or sometimes I can fit all of them, like my Mick Jagger piece, which is eight feet high, I can fit 99% of the Rolling Stones lyrics in it, which is pretty awesome. And so it just kind of depends. It's hard when I have to choose because uh, sometimes there's not enough canvas space for how, as many lyrics as I want to include. So. Depends. Sometimes I make like a, a random spelling error and I'm like, shit, I really hope no one ever sees that because it's really embarrassing. <laughs> um, but I kind of can get, gain a feel of once I start how much I can fit. So I'll either like just focus on the chorus of the song or just focus on a couple of the lines that I really admire. I have my moments where I'm like, damn it, I can't fit all of it. Okay, I'll just add a little more right here or write a little smaller. <laughs> if I'm doing a musician, I always listen to his music. Uh, kind of to set the tone. I have to be really careful what I listen to because I've caught myself doing the Beatles and I'll start doing the song that I'm listening to and I'm like, shit, well, it's still the Beatles, so that's okay. <laughs> the most difficult part is the major hand cramping that happens. Uh, sometimes I'm writing for like six hours straight and like my hand will stop working. <laughs> I'm going to have the most massive carpal tunnel when I get older. The hardest thing for me is this. I, if I could just like not show my face and just like hide and just like push art out and see if people like it, I'd be completely happy, but I can't do that. So um, I started to show my friends a little bit like, do you think this is cool? Like, does this suck? And they're like, that's really cool. Who did that? And I'm like, I did. Is it like bad? <laughs> Now I, I'm okay with it, but I still have moments of insecurity. But I feel like now I'm more like, well, I like it, so fuck it if they like it or not. <laughs> Here you go. Take it or leave it.
Like I feel like every person has an urge to do something creative. I feel like it's like part of being just a balanced person. I feel like it keeps people happy. I feel like it keeps people feeling like they accomplished something. I mean, you can sew a quilt and it would look like complete shit that you, when you finished it, but you feel accomplished. Like I made that and it's ugly, but I made that. <laughs> I feel like it's just like healthy for the soul. I think that everyone should create. Like, even if you want to be an artist, you should just create. If you have an urge to create, you should create. And I feel like anyone that just loves what they do, it comes off in their work. I feel like you can tell if something's forced or if you can tell if that person like just like loves to do that. So just keep doing it. If you have to get a job to support it, just do it. If you know, like at least you're trying, at least you're making an effort, at least you're getting that want to create out, out. I don't think you should store it. I don't think you should stop creating. I think people should be creative until they die. I feel rewarded. I worry that I'm going to have to learn to use my left hand later in life. <laughs> but I do. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything.